Hello guys, welcome to another amazing lecture. I remain your instructor great. So knowing fully well that we've successfully installed our node and our code editor, for us to now assess or create a folder that we'll be making use of, we would actually right click our Windows button to open command prompt. And when we've assessed our command prompt, to create a folder in React, we make use of mpx create React app, create React app, then whatever you want to name your project is what will follow. So for the sake of this lecture, we'll be naming our project my e-commerce. app so when you click on enter this creates a folder for you depending on your network this will take a while so let's just allow it while we it installs our necessary node modules for this project Okay, now that we've successfully created uh, my e-commerce app directory, for us to access the directory, we are going to use the command cd my e-commerce app enter. Now we are inside the my e-commerce app directory. To start this React project, we use the command npm start to launch this project in our default browser. And this will take a while, while it launch. So whatever default browser you are using, that is where it will launch. As you can see, mine is launching in my Chrome browser and it's using localhost 3000. As you can see, it's starting the development server and it's going to take a while. This is the default program that is running currently in our my e-commerce app directory. And this default program is provided by React. So it is at this point that we are going to launch our Visual Studio code to be able to create our boilerplate of which we can use in any real project that we have in the future. To access the directory, click on File, Open Folder, the exact place where our particular directory was created is where we'll go to. So our directory is named My E-commerce app. So, and it is located in our users folder. So I'm going straight to our users folder to access the directory. As you can see, this is our folder. You select on that folder so to access it you click on public you can see we have the public folder the source folder and the node modules this is where our default node modules have been installed so for us to create a boilerplate we will first access our app.js to see what's there. The logo that is currently displaying on our browser is what is here now. 
this is the logo it meant that the ladies you no longer see the logo there as you can see the logo is no longer displaying so there are so many things we will not be needing while creating our boiler plate so let's get this off this whole thing take it out we'll not be needing them for now remember we were assessing app.js will not be needing this either so app.css will also be deleted our logo will also be deleted So let's move over to our public folder, index.html, to see things we will not be needing for our boilerplate. So this whole comment section will be ripped off. These two. So we we'll change the React app to my e-commerce app, the title to my e-commerce app. As we will not be needing this logo, we'll be taking it out too. Taking out the team color. I'm taking out this other meta tag. And the favicon. So this is a boiler plate that we'll be using for this project. As you can see, there's nothing to display because everything has been ripped off. We can go back to source and create something like an H1. An H1 and call it my e commerce app. So let's see what displays on our screen. This is our boiler plate so see you guys in the next lecture as we install our dependencies